Hiya folks, well I've been back down the secret river searching for a place to sluice, uh, trying to find the line basically. Uh, it started off okay, it went really crap and then I think I've found the line. I will do further investigation. I'd also like to say congratulations to my friends Chantel and Mario who are getting married. I'm going to be the best man. That might be a good excuse to have a shave shower and change my uh, winter underwear. Guys who have got um, sluices and high bankers and stuff like that, I think I found a method which might be interesting to you to actually permanently mark your tools uh, by engraving the metal. I'll put a link to that up here. If it's not up here, it'll be right at the end where I do the show and tell. But anyway, I'll get on with it. It's nice to be nice. So guys, on the gold again you know i'm on the gold again well i hope <laughs> i'm back down the secret river if you remember i finished up sluicing down there i'm just going to do some pans i can't sluice yet for a couple of weeks and it's still freezing in the mornings but it's warmed up a bit now it must be at least three degrees <laughs> which is better than minus 10. but as i said i finished down there before that's my little dam it's like you haven't washed away so we haven't had much water this year Although we had all that snow, although it, it didn't, it, it melted off really, really slow. Um, but what I'm going to do after I tested behind there a few, yeah, must be three or four months ago now. I'm going to start here and see if I can pick some gold up here. And I've got the pump because it is again basically bedrock, but that dips like that and. I'm just going to start running a few pans this way. I did find gold there, I did find a speck up there, and what I determined that it comes down there fast. So gold then hugs this side and runs off down there. And I've had most of that, I've had that out of there. So this is my next step, so to speak. I'll get on with it. So, pull that rock out obviously, um, there's a good chance there might be something under that. What I'm going to do, I'm doing it buckets, so a pant bucket gives me an idea what I'm getting in a bucket, if anything. This is now running down that way, so I will probably follow it that way a bit, try another bucket there and also follow it forward. That bit there, looks like there could be a drop hidden under that. Just with shape of it, so there might be a dip there. So that could be a good spot. Might investigate that for, before. Well, today. I say I'm not staying long. I'm just going to run a few buckets to see if it's worth setting slugs up here. We'd have one tiny speck. Not that there, but not there. That's out of one pan. I'll do some more pans and finish bucket and tell you what I get. So that one's certainly a little bit better. I think, uh, <coughs> still got that out of that bucket. I just run three small pans. I didn't get anything in the second one. See what comes out of that. So try that way and then that way. See if it picks up. So bucket number one, four pieces. One's not bad. I mean, I know it's not a lot compared to some guys, but again, this place is five minutes from home, and I have had five millimeter pieces out of here nearly three, four, four and a half millimeter pieces. I've gone out of that, so there could be some better stuff here. What I'm first going to do then, I'm just going to try a, going across there towards the middle, the next bucket, and then I'll move forward because, like I said, that's dipping down that way, so heavier stuff should be travelling in that line sort of thing so what's happening now is it is going quite deep here so it could be really promising and it's about a foot and a half deep there from six inches it's dropped about a foot in depth and 
it's still got quick gravel on the bottom so this is the second bucket so I'll always I'll concentrate there I did a spot down further down river that were like that it came in shallow from sort of this direction up to a waterfall like that and dipped down and followed it up to a step which that could be that step and it put some I, I got good gold out of it I'll put a link in the end of video to that video if you haven't actually seen it So, oh, second bucket, not one speck, and that's where they were there, it's still going deeper in here, so I'm not saying there's nothing else there, but what I'll do is I'll work forward from that rock, just clean that space there, see what I get, because, like I say, I'm close to home, so it's not a big problem if, it's not like I'm travelling a lot, a long way to do a bit of gold, gold washing, you know what I mean, a bit of prospecting, so I'll see what I get, I'll do another couple of buckets and then that'll be me and i'll just sort of clear that space and when when and if i do come down here in slopes i'll look i'll probably clean up that edge let me rocks over that side although it might be still worth doing a little few tests across here see how far it does go if it if it does sort of come down there but the same main thing is i think it's just coming down this edge this is what my well as i say i tested before there didn't i and got some behind that rock but again that could have just caught that rock could have just caught that gold what I've just pulled out because that came from under that third bucket I went just around there and there's just two absolutely minor specks even smaller than smart fly <laughs> I can see them there and there so it's not looking good. I'm going to take one more. I'll take one more from across there and then I'll have a test there around that stone. I think what I pulled out on that first bucket was what was collected by that. So it might not be worth sluicing here at all. But also it might be. And after it sounds as I say, I found gold there. So, And I know it runs all the way down that edge and into that waterfall. Yes, decisions, decisions. So, bucket number four, nothing. It's still getting deeper there. It's, it's got to be somewhere to locate where it line is. I mean, as I say, I think that was originally stuck under that rock. So, I'm going to pop a pan there. And I'll pop one on the other side shouldn't be there <laughs> you never know dear <laughs> but I'll try there in front of that little boulder the little pebble big pebble as I said that looks like it's a drop there and normally if it's traveling this way it's got to be catching in this dip because this dips here and rises again here so if the river gods are fiddle as we know So, right, I took two pans there, nothing. Uh, so we pan for pan now, it's pan is filling buckets if I'm not picking out up in them. Um, I took one pan there, just now. There's one with a speck in it. Where is it? There, so what I'm going to do is take another pan from there. As I say, gold's travelling through here, so it must be settling before it gets to that bank. So, that's annoying. Uh, it must be settling before it gets to that bank. So maybe it's, because I know it's hitting that side. I did pick two pieces up there before. Pick what I picked up from under that big rock, but that's a big rock, so that old gold. So it might actually be travelling more to the middle. I only went to there, I didn't quite get to the middle. See that curve there? 
sort of comes out and then it's like a 45 degree straight down here so there that could be line it's finding the line there's a woodpecker up there somewhere right then second pan from same spot another piece yeah it's not bad it's off a millimeter so it might be on the right track now at last <laughs> as i say it's got to be traveling down here so it's, it's traveling from here to here so it's just finding where it's traveling if it's traveling sort of in the middle then that's where i'll have to go and say so i didn't go quite that far across there and in all honesty what i did find in that waterfall at about middle that should have given me a clue forward but normally it runs from one side to the middle so but yeah i'm going to take one more pan out of there whether it pays or not i don't know but i will come back and try sluicing this when season's open again for sluicing and digging properly and uh, i might end up still working from here upwards there's a bit of work there there's a good uh, few days it's not just a day you know what i mean and when you need a little bit of mental hygiene and come and do some digging it's just nice to be down by the river again to be honest it's much better when it's leafed up though because there's road with people walking past my car's parked up there but you get people walking past them you do ask stupid questions got a gold pan and a shovel oh what are you doing picking bananas so i'm pretty much convinced now i'm in the right place i've just took a third pan uh the second pan by the way it had two pieces in i washed it through again there were another tiny little piece this pan's got a really little tiny tiny pot fly poop but I've got some flaked lead as well, so if lead's travelling there, gold will be travelling there. There you go, there's the gold, right in that right in the edge there. But it's got I picked up quite a few pieces of flat, flaky lead, so that's where they're travelling. So it will be worth me trying to sluice this area at least. It'll be worth trying it once, run 10 buckets and see what I get. But I'll be working sort of that area. I might try a little bit further that way as well but as I said I'll up middle and uh, hopefully I've found a good spot because as I say this this it's like a bowl it goes up here look you can see there's no depth there but here where I'm stood it's about yeah just over a foot so gold all have accumulated in that with luck so guys that's the result I think there's about 15 pieces there uh, finding line I'd rather do it now when I can't sluice uh, if I get a chance to go back next weekend I might go back and do a bit more testing until I can sluice I mean there's a few places I want to go this year to do some uh, Sluicing because a place I prospected up on now flash here. And I got a bike and it looked quite promising. And there's obvious Mario's claim. <laughs>